We've all heard the term total loss before, but what does it actually mean? And more importantly, can you still legally drive a car that's been declared a total loss? Well, the answer is a bit complicated, but we're here to help. If the term total loss is confusing to you and you want expert advice, visit our free search engine at freeadvice.com. It's simple and easy to use. You can find experts with a simple zip code search in a matter of minutes. Welcome back, friend. We're thrilled to see you again. Have you ever wondered what it means for a car to be declared a total loss? What your options are for keeping or selling the vehicle? And whether or not you can still drive it on the road? Have you ever been told that it's game over if your car is declared a total loss? Well, it turns out that's not always the case. Insurance can be tricky with shades of gray that go beyond the standard black and white. Imagine this scenario. Your car was in an accident and has been declared a total loss. But wait, it's still drivable. So the big question is, can I still drive it? Well, there's not a straightforward answer. Depending on where you live, your insurance company may need to report the total loss to the DMV or BMV, and you may be required to get a salvage title. Confused? Don't worry. We've got you covered with our comprehensive guide on everything you need to know about driving a car that's been declared a total loss and the insurance coverage you need to stay on the road. What exactly does it take for your vehicle to be classified as a total loss? Total loss is when your insurance adjuster determines that fixing your car would cost more than it's worth. In simpler terms, it's like saying adios to your beloved ride and finding a new one instead. But what happens if your car is still running despite the damage? Well, it's not impossible to get back on the road with a salvage title. However, there are a few hoops you'll need to jump through before hitting the gas pedal again. So basically, your insurance provider will cut you a check for your car's actual cash value, ACV, and the salvage value. But here's the catch. If you accept the payment, the insurance company will take possession of your vehicle and salvage it for parts. And in some cases, they may sell it to a salvage yard or auction. Once the car has been sold or transferred, it is given a salvage title to indicate that it has been damaged and is considered a total loss by the insurance company. In some cases, the car can be repaired and made roadworthy again, and the owner can apply for a rebuilt title or a restored salvage title to legally drive the car. However, this process can be complicated and varies by state. Now, if you feel attached to your ride and want to keep it, you can, but you'll be responsible for any repairs needed to get it back in working order. It's important to remember that when your car is declared a total loss, the insurance company will report it to the DMV and the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System. It's important to remember that when your car is declared a total loss, the insurance company will report it to the DMV and the National Motor Vehicle Title Information System, NMVTS. Reporting is crucial because it helps prevent car fraud and protects buyers from purchasing a vehicle that has been previously declared a total loss or has a salvage title. Insurance companies are required to report this information to help ensure that the vehicle's history is accurately reflected in its title. Future owners deserve the right to know the vehicle's previous damage or status. While it's definitely possible to get back on the road with a salvage title, there are a few steps you'll need to take before doing so. 
Primarily, you'll need to inspect your car by the state's DMV or BMV to ensure it's roadworthy. Depending on your state's laws, you may need to get a rebuilt title or restored salvage title before being able to drive your car legally. The price of the inspection fee will differ from state to state, but if your car fails the inspection, you'll need to fix it based on your state's requirements and get it re-inspected. If your total lost car has been green lighted to be on the road, it requires auto insurance to take on unexpected mishaps. However, it's essential to note that you won't be eligible for full coverage. Now, how can you insure your total lost car? If you're wondering how to insure a car that's been declared a total loss, we can help. Our free online quote tool makes it easy to compare insurance companies and find the right coverage for your needs. Just enter your information and we'll show you the best options available in your area because once your vehicle has a salvage title, you will need to start looking for car insurance. Auto insurance companies usually offer liability only insurance for salvage title vehicles. This is because it's not worth the risk of insuring a total loss vehicle with full coverage. Total loss cars can have underlying issues even if they look okay on the surface. Remember that liability insurance costs vary by state. So it's best to check with the National Association of Insurance Commissioners, NAIC, for the average cost in your area. Did you know that the cost of your car insurance can vary depending on the insurance company you choose? That's why shopping around and comparing prices is important to find the best deal. So while it might not be the most straightforward process, it's possible to get back on the road with a total loss vehicle by having a salvage title. It just takes a little bit of extra effort and attention to detail. You'll have to roll up your sleeves and put in some work to get it up and running again. And oftentimes, you'll be responsible for making any necessary repairs to get your car back on the road. While it's not a walk in the park, it's definitely a path to consider if you're dead set on keeping your beloved car. So gear up and take on the challenge because with great ownership comes great responsibility. Remember, it's possible to get back on the road with a salvage title, but there are a few important things you need to keep in mind before driving again. Don't forget that you'll need a salvage title and auto insurance, and you'll have to jump through some hoops to get your car roadworthy again. Also, keep in mind that costs for insurance can vary by company, so be sure to shop around for the best rates. If you're looking for an expert's advice on the said processes, look no further than freeadvice.com. Our user-friendly search engine is not only free, but also incredibly efficient. With a quick zip code search, you can connect with top experts in no time. And it will also make it easy for you to compare insurance companies and find the right coverage for your needs. So say goodbye to the hassle of searching for hours on end because freeadvice.com has got you covered. Have you ever wondered what other insurance must knows you may be kept in the dark about? Did you know that oftentimes working for a food delivery or passenger transport company service will require additional insurance coverage? Find the answers you need today and remember to subscribe for more helpful tips on navigating the world of insurance and auto ownership.